From College Station and the Texas AgriLife Extension Service, this is your weekly two-minute crop report for September 22, 2009. Much of Texas received substantial rain in the past week, but nowhere was it more needed than in southwest Texas, according to Dr. Jose Pina, Texas AgriLife Extension Service economist based at Uvalde. Uh, yes, uh, some places uh, about the average of uh, five inches, uh, but in some places 10, uh, 10 11, 12, uh, yes, excellent rain after very many months of severe dry conditions. One of the biggest benefits of the rain was to rangeland and pasture grasses, which were a danger of being lost after one of the hottest, driest summers in the history of the region, Pena said. We might be able to save a lot of the uh, grasses and pasture lands that... Uh, as drought continues, uh, birds eat seeds and uh, the whole area degrades by the rain coming. I think that uh, some seeds will be able to germinate. And in terms of fall planted crops, uh, well, uh, it means that we will be able to, um, you know, many of the crops that are in the field, uh, we have peanuts, we have uh, pecans, we have uh, uh, winter vegetables, cabbage, uh, and many other winter vegetables that are able to take full advantage of the rain. All that is plus, okay? Any rain would, would be a beneficial part. I hate to be uh, criticizing rain, but the rain came very, very fast, uh, more than a, about a very fast rate for the first two days. Therefore, we in, it increased runoff. That is, we lost a lot of it down the rivers. And you might say that's also a plus because it restored the aquifers. Uh, the Edwards aquifer is in good shape now. It restores uh, stock tanks. Without water in the stock tanks, there's no way that wildlife or livestock can survive, and they were dry. This has been Robert Burns with the AgriLife Communications Unit. 